All right, everybody, Lord Bling here with a new camera, first of all. So I uh, got rid of the old Kodak and went with a Sony. I'll put some specs in the description. Um, I had a request from someone on YouTube to post this a video kind of walking through and showing the alien effects on, um, well, it's the Alien M, uh, Alienware M14X, but pretty much any Alienware laptop. The one thing you don't really see people showing off uh, online is the uh, what the alien effects is. So uh, kind of a little bit of a walkthrough is what I'll do here. Um, I am not the qualified person to be doing it, but I guess since there really isn't much else out there, I might as well do it. So without further ado, let's do that. So alien effects. On the M14X specifically, uh, you can change these lights that are here. You can change the lights in the touchpad, which I actually have turned off right now. Let me turn that on. Uh, if I can reach it and still hold the camera. No, I can't. <laughs> All right, so we'll turn on the touchpad. So there you go. I don't usually use it because I've got the mouse that I use over here. But uh, to use the touchpad, you can light it up and change it whatever color you want. You can also change the color of the alien head on here. Not only when it's plugged in, but when it's unplugged. Like right now, it's plugged in. When it's, I've got it set for white. When I unplug it, it goes yellow. See, there, I just unplugged it, and it switched to yellow. Uh, you can also change, there's an Alienware that it says right here. Um, I turn that off typically. I don't really like to show it off. I mean, it's, it's bad enough that I've got this flashy computer. I don't need to let everybody know what it is. At least that's kind of how I roll with that. But uh, you can do that. Uh, on the M14X and I also I think on the 11X, you cannot change the color on the alien head here on the, on the, the front, though. That stays white, so which is fine with me. So let's go in, and when you, go, when you uh, do boot up your computer... You can go over here to, uh, you'll see an alien head right here. You probably can't see that right now, but it's Alienware Alien Effects. And you just click on that. Actually, I got right click it and choose Alienware Alien Effects Editor. Now, it takes a second to boot up. It's actually a little slower than I would like, but there it is. Sorry, it's new tripod. don't know what I'm doing. So it gives you a picture of what you can choose from. So right here, there's... Number one is the, uh, the alien head that I've got right here. You can make it any, any of these colors you want on the wheel. Uh, we'll, we'll change it over to blue. And it doesn't change until I click apply. So there I clicked apply and there you can see it changed blue. You can make that any color you want. Same with the color of when it's unplugged or uh, when it's not uh, charging. So whatever you want to set it to you can. You click apply. Let's turn on the uh, Alienware logo, that's number 7, right here. So we'll go over here. Right now I've just got it chosen black. We'll go ahead and boot it up white. Bang! And that's, I think all of these are pretty much instant changes except for the power, co uh, the power button. I think that one you have to click apply. So that's white, you can make it any color you want. There's light blue, blue, dark blue, and then you get purple. You know, there's all sorts of options here. I mean, way more than any human being needs. That red is really bright, and it's just kind of annoying, so I'll just turn it off. But something else you can do, not just with the color, but you can see here in the instructions, uh, you have morph and you have pulse. So I can make it morph from blue to orange. Maybe you can see it doing that there. Kind of neat, I guess, if, if you like that kind of thing or whatever. And then pulse... Is it doing it? There's pulse, so it's just flashing at you. Uh, if there's a way to change the speed on the pulse, I'm not sure how to do it. I don't really care, so <laughs> it's not something I've messed around with. Um, but all of these sections of the keybo uh, keyboard you can change. Uh, let's, let's make everything orange. So there's number two. Maybe you saw it switch. I'll switch number three, which is just to the uh, left of that. Actually, orange is in a very subtle change. Let's just go white. Bang. I'll make number two white. We'll make them all white. We'll make it as bright as possible. I don't know if there's a way to make all of those, um, to, to change more than one at a time. I don't think Control-Tab does that, but I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll even change the touchpad to white. Bang. And then even these little... Uh, Vents, you can make, you can make those uh, morph and pulse and do whatever you want there. Uh, that's number six. 
Okay, number nine I just changed is the uh, the, the uh, power button here. Power button or is that uh, hard drive? Anyway, not a button I really deal with much. You probably can't see it on the video, but that is, um, I usually just have that red. So there I just change it back to red. The vents in the front are now white as well. Bang. So nice and clean looking. Okay. But you can make any of these buttons on the keyboard pulse. Uh, you can make the touchpad thing pulse, if you care about that. I don't. Can you make that pulse? Maybe you can't. See, I'm a noob at all this stuff, so uh, like I said, I'm not the most qualified person to walk you through it. Um, enable advanced settings, and if you get a new email, you can make it to where certain sections uh, light up a different color or something, which is kind of cool, I guess. Um, you know, I've got the Gmail notifier down here in my assistant tray, so that's that's how I know I've got an email, and it it gives me a sound. So um, I just do that instead. But if you want a visual notification of having an email, you can do that here, which is kind of cool. Let me put the camera back down so I can go through a little bit more of the menu, and let me zoom in here so you can get a better view of that as well. So that's, it. that's what the advanced settings turned on. I don't mess with any of that usually. I just make them different colors and yeah, there you have it. Uh, now there is, and I'll, I'll click apply. I'll lock that in so it's all white. Alien Fusion. So we'll click on that. And this is just a, a power balance thing. If you've had Asus, uh, my last laptop was an Asus and I just um, had something similar. Uh, it just manages your brightness of your monitor when you have the, the computer plugged in or unplugged, things like that. Um, power saver, power, uh, power plan balance, which is a little of both, and then high performance. I pretty much had this on high performance all the time because I have it plugged in 99% of the time. That 1% is when I take it to the back in the game room and need to do a, a walkthrough and I'm stuck in a, a level or something. Uh, and then there's quick settings, which you can go in here and change uh, for the different power plans. What does your power button do? What does it do when you close the, the, the lid? What is it? How long can you make it to where it'll sleep? What brightness do you want, etc. So that's all in here in this Alien Fusion. And then we'll go over to Alien Touch, which is just really about the touchpad itself down here. Um, you can enable uh, tap and, and hold drag, which I like to have turned on. Uh, disable the touchpad when a mouse is attached. That I have that as a default uh, because I don't like to type and have my uh, the, the meat of my palm and my hand on here and making it uh, screw up and click me in other places on, uh, on the screen. I hate that. That's annoying. So I always turn that off typically when I'm using a mouse. Sensitivity. And that is something you can adjust. How sensitive is it when you're typing? Uh, I just have it turned off, so I don't really care. But you can play around with that and see if it if it affects you to where you can go on here and touch it and move it around, but maybe it won't when, when you're typing. I don't know. Like I said, I've got my setup the way I've got it, and that's that's how I have it. And you can even change the sensitivity to how much pressure uh, you put on the touchpad. Uh, then there's virtual scrolling, which you can basically use. You can set the touchpad to where if you touch the very far right up and down, it will scroll up and down and left and right, and it'll do that as well. Um, not as good as a you know Apple multi-touch or what you're used to on on uh, on smartphones nowadays. Uh, I do wish it had pinch to zoom. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Um, or even like my old Asus had, where you uh, uh, tap with three fingers and it right clicks, or tap with two fingers and and it uh, I think it's a double click. I don't remember. It's, it's <laughs> I've had this computer for three weeks now and I've already forgotten about my Asus. Um, but again, I don't use a touchpad much, so this isn't really relevant to me. But feel free to play around with it when you get your Alienware. But again, the meat of this pretty much is in making all the pretty colors here. Um, play around with it. I spent way more time at first playing around with it, and now I just pretty much leave it all red or blue. Um, since I've got the red, uh, the uh, Nebula Red computer, which you probably can't see here because it's dark in this room because I want to show off the lights, uh, um, I typically leave it red. But it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's... Colors are colors, and when you're in a dark room gaming, people don't really see that your computer's red on the outside. They just see the Alienware effects lights. So, well, that, that there you have it. I mean, you click apply and lock all that stuff in, and then you just close it out, and, and there you have it. You just uh, whenever you want to go back in and change it, you can do it right here and right click on the alien head. It's also a quick way to go dark, which I'll do right now. I'll click go dark, and bang. But it does leave the touchpad turned on, which is good. And.
and let's turn it back on. Go light is what I chose. And it's back on. But an even quicker way to do that is to hit function and then uh, print screen. Print screen is the alien effects button. So I'll do that right now. Function print screen. And that automatically makes the computer go dark. So you don't have to go into the menu. You can just hit function print screen and it brings it off or on uh, if you need a, a quick fix on that. Let me see if there's one other thing on this Alienware head that I wanted to. Dim lighting zones. I've not done that. Quick change. So this is going to be kind of cool. I haven't done this yet. So quick change. And what I did is I right click on the alien head over here in the system tray. I want everything to be blue. Bang! It did it. Everything is blue. Now I turn back on the Alienware um, logo, which I'm, again, kind of annoyed by. that it's When I'm trying to watch a movie, I don't want that down there. I usually just turn it off. But Again, if you want to just do a quick uh, swap of colors, that's one way to do it. So, Well, I think that's probably more than you cared about on the Alienware effect, on the Alien effects that's on Alienware computers. But there's probably other videos out there that are better than this, but uh, someone did specifically ask me for it, and I will uh, thank that person in the credits. I, I apologies for not remembering uh, who it is here <laughs> at this point. Um, but yeah, I will uh, send that around, and uh, there you have it. This is the Alien Effects on the Alienware M14X.